We just learned that Panasonic is investing a lot of money to build Tesla's 4680 battery cells from 2023. According to a Japanese media report, Panasonic wants to start serious production of the new 4680 battery cells for Tesla in the course of 2023. For this purpose, Panasonic is expanding its plant in the Japanese prefecture of Wakayama and in, in integrating new systems for the mass production on these new details. As I'm about to tell you more details, please uh, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. According to a new report, Panasonic is investing $700 million to produce Tesla's 4680 battery cells at a factory in Japan by 2023. Tesla is preparing to start production of its first vehicle using 4680 battery cells, a new tabless battery cell in a bigger format with new chemistry unveiled in 2020. If you remember, Tesla did it on September of 2020 at its battery day. For the first time, the automaker plans to produce its own battery cells to support its electric vehicles. However, Tesla is going to need so many battery cells that it is also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own production versions of the new 4680 battery cells. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner at the Gigafactory in Nevada, has tentatively announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new 4680 battery cells. Later, Panasonic's new CEO Yuki Kosumi said that it is pre prepared to make a large investment in production in producing Tesla's new battery cells if test production proves successful. In October 2021, the Japanese manufacturer um, unveiled its own version of 4680 battery cells developed with Tesla. Now, a new report from Nikkei Asia claims today that Panasonic has green-lighted an 80 billion yen, which is 750, uh, $705 million investment at its Wakayama factory in Japan to produce the 4680 battery cells for Tesla. Panasonic didn't want to comment on the report and said that it is still focused on its test production. We are studying various options for mass production, including a test production line we are establishing this business year. We don't, however, have anything to announce at this time. You see, Panasonic, that was a quote from Panasonic. You see, Panasonic's uh, information is about focusing on this during for this business year, they said, this business year. But uh, Nikkei Asia says the ba battery is going to come next year, but Panasonic says we don't, however, have anything to announce at this time. So probably it's based on in insider reports. The report said that Panasonic was planning a production output of less than 10 gigawatt hour at the plant. This is not much, but still significant at an average pack size of 60 kilowatt hour that's enough to produce 150,000 vehicles per year you know tesla may probably do this in a month that means tesla will probably produce 150,000 vehicles in a month considering they plan to do about 1.5 to 2 million vehicles this year however it is anticipated that Panasonic could also deploy new production lines for the 4680 battery cells at other factories, including potential Gigafactory in Nevada, where they already have something going on with Tesla, where the company already produces 2170 cells for Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y vehicles produced at Fremont factory. Along with Panasonic, LG, Samsung, and Cattle have all also indicated that they aim to produce 4680 battery cells for Tesla, along with its own battery cell production, which is being deployed at Gigafactory Texas, at Giga Berlin and Shanghai. Tesla said that it will buy every battery cell it can from suppliers for the foreseeable future. So what do you think, friends? We hear that, we learn from Tesla that these batteries are more energy dense. They are going to give your Tesla more range and the specs will change. So are you going to order Tesla today or are you rather waiting to hear until these batteries 
are deployed with new Tesla. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Give us thumbs up. Share in social media, guys. That really helps me. And let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. This morning, we have a very interesting image from Tesla Giga Berlin's Model Y, which has a rare angle suggesting 4680 battery pack in the upcoming Model Y in Texas Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla, Tesla news every day and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and give us thumbs up, please. We greatly appreciate it. So look at this very rare angle of Tesla Model Y built at Giga Texas. This image has been taken yesterday. It has no floor and therefore needs to have a structural battery pack body and likely come with 4680 battery cells, which are more advanced, more energetic energy dense and have more range. Tesla Giga Texas Chronicle Joe Techmeyer, who has been documenting the construction of Tesla's Giga factory in Austin and Joe drives 180 miles three times a, a week uh, both ways to document Tesla Giga, Giga Texas for all of us. So my respect to him. So yesterday shared this very unique angle of Tesla Model Y's body built at Giga Texas. It is very revealing. Joe shared this image and wrote a different different angle on the test model Y body delivered today at Giga Texas, 14th January 2022. Note, no floor, so structural battery pack body and likely with 4680s, meaning the battery. See my video on YouTube later today. Friends, I will have Joe's YouTube link in the description of this video. So I contacted Joe and asked his opinion on this. I wrote him, so you are saying that since it doesn't have floor, it will use the structural 4680 battery. Is it fair to assume that A, Tesla is test building cars for test purpose to test its systems at Giga Texas and they are with structured structural 4680 batteries and B, that Tesla will bring these batteries from the Cato Road facility next to the Fremont factory in California to produce Model Y with 4680 batteries until it starts producing those batteries at Giga Texas. Joe Techmeyer replied and said, yes, it is my understanding Giga Texas is preparing to make Model Ys with structural packs from the beginning and use batteries from Cato Road initially until Giga Texas can make the cells at sufficient volume to take on the load. That makes very good sense and I agree with Joe's reasoning. I asked him if he expected this situation continue until mid-year and around mid-year Giga Texas will take the load in terms of 4680 battery protection or production. Joe said, that is my understanding too. I'm hoping we will get a better understanding of what Tesla intends on the 26th of uh, June for factory status, production, timelines, and etc. So we're all looking forward to January 26th when Elon Musk speaks about these issues and we will have better idea. So look for that, please. If you are here first time, subscribe to our channel because we're gonna pick our, uh, uh, put our finger on the pulse of these developments and bring you the latest. If you look at our history, we bring three to five unique and uh, breaking Tesla stories every day in this channel. So please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and let me know what do you think about this rare and unique angle suggesting 4680 battery packs in Tesla Model Y and how many 4680 battery packs do you think Cato Road facility, which is not very big in Fremont, is able to build and supply Giga Texas until Giga Texas in mid 2022 is ready to take on the full load with full capacity. This is Armin Haryan. Have a great day, friends. See you in my next Tesla report. God bless you and peace be with all of you. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. Breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin, friends. This morning, Tesla confirmed delivery of Model Y from Giga Berlin in March. In an internal email, 
Tesla has confirmed its plan to begin deliveries of the Model Y performance from Giga Berlin in Grünheide in March. Previously, a change in the configuration had only indicated it, but now, as Electric.net reports, Tesla has confirmed it. In the email to employees the Ger in Germany, which was published in the German Tesla Drivers and Friends Forum, TFF, March is mentioned as the expected start of delivery for the Model Y performance from the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin. The model performance from Berlin can now also be ordered and will be probably reach us from March, it said. In fact, my friend source from Slovenia in Europe also said that he had received the phone call from Tesla Giga Berlin saying the deliveries will happen in March and that he was going to have an email in writing this week. Observers had already suspected that since a change was made in the configurator in January, a delivery date for black and white Model Y performance has now been announced for March for the other finishes in May. Previously, the performance version was only set to be early 2022 from Tesla Giga Berlin. A specific delivery in March could have meant an import or performance models from China, but the mail confirms the probable production in Germany. So, Tesla Giga Berlin is going to start first deliveries in early March. The configurator update also made some other changes for the 2022 model year, including the long range model in Germany, it's called Maximum Range, which continues to come from China. Thanks to a new battery, the WLTP range of Model Y LR increases from 507 to 532 kilometers, 533 kilometers, and I reported this on Saturday. However, Tesla has only homo um, homologated the version with the less aerodynamic 20-inch rims according to WLTP. With the 19-inch models, the Model Y has an estimated range of 500 165 kilometers. The longer range, thanks to an improved energy density of the battery, is also confirmed in the Tesla mail. From a technical point of view, other changes for the 2022 model year include a 15 volt lithium ion battery, which replaces the previous 12 volt battery. In addition, according to Tesla email, a faster processor for improved operation is installed. This should be the AMD Ryzen No from the Model S refresh instead of an Intel processor, since some Model Y performance were already delivered with this processor in China, this step was expected. Interesting for the occupants and driver of the Model Y, in the Model Y, double gaze windows are now also being installed on the rear doors to improve the acoustics. The now standard parcel shell should also continue to this in order to insulate noise from the trunk. There there is also an improved music system and heated fiber plates. So a lot of good improvements in 2022 Model Y that is coming from Giga Berlin. All the changes mentioned from the battery to the windscreen wipers now also apply to the Model 3. The range increases to up to 626 kilometers estimated range with the 18 inch rims and 602 kilometers according to WLTP with the 19 inch rims. One exception, the Model 3 still only has double glazed windows in the front doors. Now, Giga Texas in the meantime will also launch in March, but with 46 AD cells. This is another breaking story. Not only Grünheide is the start of the delivery in the first quarter, Electric claims to have learned from insider sources that Tesla plans to deliver the first Model Y from the new factory in Texas, Giga Texas, before the end of the first quarter. Since both the Model Y production in Texas and production in 46 AD cells are a few months behind schedule. Another report from the past few weeks is less surprising because we also, according to information from Reuters, Tesla is postponing the start of production for the Cybertruck until the end of the first uh, quarter of 2023. But the exciting news is that Tesla confirmed that delivery of Model Y from Grünheide in Giga Berlin is going to happen in March. Two years after the start of construction, Tesla will deliver March uh, Giga Berlin made Model Ys. Friends, exciting news. What do you think? Let me know about this, your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from Torque News. Please subscribe to our channel for I have three more breaking news coming from Tesla today. 
and also give us thumbs up and like this video friends and share in social media i would greatly appreciate it have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you everyone and let's move on to our next tesla story